Everyone knows that platypuses are unique for their differences from other mammals. The first scientist to see one, George Shaw, thought they were a hoax and cut their skin expecting to find stitches. The platypus is very intelligent and can't be held in zoos because they easily find ways to escape. In this video, you're going to learn in what ways are platypuses unique and what are we doing to protect them. The platypus is a distinguishing animal and they are different from others in many ways. Most of them live in eastern Australia, from the north of Queensland to the freezing snows of Tasmania. In Queensland, they live in rivers east of the Great Dividing Ranch and in some western flowing streams. They have waterproof fur, strong claws, a characteristic bill, a flat tail, a venomous fur, and short webbed limbs. Most terrestrial mammals use their forelegs to swim efficiently, but platypuses use their front one. Platypuses are one of the four species of mammals that have venoms, which is very rare. These are often used as a defense to control territory during breeding season. These are often used as a defense to control territory during a breeding season. Some of the ancestors of mammals like these were egg layers too, which means that platypuses carry history with them. Platypuses are also one of the most evolutionarily distinct animals on Earth. Evolution is a crucial aspect of all animals and their ancestors affect the way species evolve. There is an Aboriginal legend that says platypuses were created when a young female duck mated yeah. with a water rat. But scientists say their ancestors are Tainolophos and the Steropodon. Tainolophos is known from four specimens consisting of a partial lower jawbone collected from one thaggy formation in Australia. Judging from the size of his jaw, Steropodon would have been a small mammal, but the size of the living platypus. Scientists think that, like other monotremes, it most likely has short limbs held up from its body and would have been an egg layer. Every organism needs to adapt to its environment to thrive. The platypus's waterproof fur, strong claws, bill, flat tail, and a deadly poison spur are their important adaptation. The fur traps an insulating layer of air that keeps their body temperature stable even when they've been in water for hours. Their strong claws are important because platypuses use nest burrows for raising their young, so they need to dig mud and more. Next, their duck bill allows them to hear and breathe when diving for prey. Additionally, their tails have two uses for survival, as it stinks women by working like a rudder and storing fat, which is important for females who require a store of fat for staying in their burrow. It can be critical for males too when they're having trouble finding prey. Finally, males have a poison spur, one on each foot, and are willing to deliver a venomous sting when needed. Females only have them when they're little and it falls off before adulthood. There are many threats today that are causing the platypus's population to decrease. The decline in the population is because of natural and human impact. The most important threats are natural enemies and deforestation. The platypus's enemies are wild dogs and cats, foxes, and water rats. Wild dogs and cats are successful because of their hunting instinct, ability to adapt, and their wide range of prey. The foxes are thriving because of the availability of food resources. The water rats are thriving because of the availability of food and shelter and they are listed as least concern in Queensland. For these reasons, the population of the platypus's natural enemies are increasing, which causes theirs to decrease. Another problem facing the platypus is deforestation, which is people cutting down forests. It removes source of water, food, shelter, and forces animals off from their natural land. Additionally, studies show that humans waste 1.4 billion trees per year because of paper waste. Although the platypus's population is decreasing, people are coming up with ways to protect it. They must be protected because they are a flagship species in Australia and they are a critical part of a healthy river ecosystem. Since platypuses are top predators in the freshwater ecosystem, it's their role to keep the population of Marco invertebrates. Scientists have also found out that their venom contains a hormone that may assist in diabetes treatment, which is another reason why we should protect them. The Bush Heritage, an organization that protects wildlife states, we use the best science, conservation, and right-way knowledge to deliver landscape-scale impact. We are a unified force for nature, grounded in science and culture. Protect them, the heritage looks after the platypus's habitat, maintains plants in stream habitat, and stream bank erosion, which causes waste to go into the stream. Overall, the platypuses are very different from other mammals, and they are endangered because of natural enemies, deforestation, and more. Some people are doing a lot they can to protect them and they are willing to spend their time helping other animals. If the bush heritage is willing to do that, then we should find out what we can do too. So the next time you see a platypus, remember that they are endangered and try to help them in some way.